lesson and introduction to the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Our starting point is World War One. Okay, during the First World War, Israel, which I'm going to draw as a little bit of a sausage that looks a bit like that, was occupied by the Ottoman um, Empire. Okay, or the Ottoman Empire, um, who were in control, who were in charge of the region, in charge of the area at the time. At the end of the First World War, the Ottoman Empire was defeated. Okay, and the British took over. That's us, hooray. Okay, so I'll put British down there as well. Okay, the British controlled an area um, that was massive and there were huge tensions in this area between Arabs that lived there and also between Jewish people that lived there. Okay, and because of this conflict and because of this tension, the United Nations proposed a, what we call the two-state solution. That on one side, we would have the Jews and that would form part of Israel. And on the other side, we'd have the Arabs, which would form part of modern Palestine. Okay, the Jews agreed to the separation, but the Arabs didn't. Okay, naturally, this upset the Jews because they thought, well, we've offered them a bit of land um, in return for our homeland, um, and in actual fact, um, they've denied it and then they've not taken it. The Arabs, on the other hand, would obviously claim that the Palestinians are having their land taken away from them by the Jews that weren't there in the first place. And actually, if you look at maps that show Palestinian land loss over time, you can see that in terms of territory, um, the Arabs have missed out. Now, that leads us to a flashpoint to do with the causes, because one of the causes that we can identify here are between territory, but also, because of this bit here, between religion. So we've got religious tensions going on as well. Okay, good. We move on a little bit, okay? 1948, and this is quite an important date for you to start to think about and to start to remember. In 1948, the USA, okay, creates the independent state of Israel, okay? The first and only Jewish state in the world, okay? Now, naturally, the Arab Palestinians, they're not going to like this. Um, and actually, we tend to find that we've got a queue of war, because remember that lots of the neighbouring countries around it, such as Egypt, such as Syria, okay, are all Arabic countries. Okay? So we tend to have a war between all these surrounding countries, such as Jordan, such as Syria, such as Egypt, all on this independent Jewish state of Israel. Okay? In a sort of around about um, the 1960s, we start to see occupied territory springing up. Here we've got what we call the Gaza Strip. Over here on the Jordanian border, we've got what we call the West Bank. Oh, bad spelling. And over here we've got into Syria the area of Golan Heights, which you hear a little bit less of these days. Okay, now these occupied territories are Palestinian, so they are Arabic territories. And there have been claims sort of since the 1960s that Israelis and Jews have been going into these territories, particularly the West Bank, in order to build settlements which are illegal under international law. And quite famously, a man named Ariel Sharon in around about 1995 told everyone to take every hilltop. And that's quite an important piece of level three information that you need to remember when it comes to your exams, okay? Around about 1987, there was a fresh fight back between the Arabs trying to claim back these occupied territories and these settlements from Jewish settlers. Um, and it sort of all spilled over into a bit of violence. 1990, we start to see that we've got peace talks, okay, between sort of the Israelis and, and the um, Gazan government, controlled at the time um, by, I think, Fatah, um, now controlled by Hamas, which is considered to be a terrorist organisation, but they did win in free democratic elections. Um, the PLO, which is the Palestinian Liberation um, Order, they um, decided in sort of around about 2001 that the peace talks were broke down, uh, despite the fact that they agreed to stop um, some of their attacks. And in 2005, some of the settlements were removed from the occupied territories. But of course, this had bad feeling with the Israelis, who still consider it to be their territory and still consider it to be their particular place um, to call their own. Stop now.